Hello Drexus web followers. I'm coming back to you today with another unboxing video. This is for the May box from um, the Star Wars Smugglers box. I'm sorry it's taken so long. I tend to get a box a month from different places and then I just get totally wiped out with doing my blogs and other videos and things that I completely space out and forget to do my boxes unboxing videos. So here is the Bounty Hunters box from May. Um, I'm going to be getting a new one which is I believe Jabba's Palace and hopefully a few days. So hopefully in a few days I'll remember and just do Jabba's Palace right away. But this is the Bounty Hunters box. We got both of it right there on the front. Now, as I've said in previous ones, this is powered by Funko Pop, so everything in here is a Funko Pop exclusive to this box. You will not find them in other places other than maybe Pop in a Box, which I will put a link to at the end of the video. So let's get started. As always, it's got the awesome box with the awesome artwork. And inside, which you will find in all of these Funko related ones. We've got a pin, which in this case is, um, looks to be the Bounty Hunter box. And then you have the patch, which is Boba Fett, and has the Bounty Hunter logo right there. So that's pretty cool. So as we open it up, first thing on top, we've got a nice shirt. So let's see what that's going to look like. I might wear this tomorrow when I go out to see NXT. Okay, on this shirt, we have three bounty hunters. Lucas Forlum and IG-88. Oh, and we've got Boba Fett down here and Bosk. So we've got five bounty hunters and a bunch of the stats and weapons and such that they have. This is a very cool shirt. It's one of the things I love most about these boxes is I'm going to have a steady flow of new shirts every month. That way as all my old shirts start unraveling and such, I've got new ones to replace them, which is awesome. And they're cool ones and fun ones. And in my opinion, the shirt itself is practically paying for the box, which comes out around, it's about $25 for shipping and handling, so it comes out to around $31. $25 is not bad for a shirt like that. You'll find the same at price at like a lot of the other ones like Key Fury and Roadkill t-shirts and things like that are going to run around the same price if you just buy one at a time. So the other things you always get in these boxes are um, pop vinyls. In this case, we've got um, Boba Fett, and it says he is a vinyl bobblehead, and we've got another vinyl bobblehead. This one is the Bounty Hunter IG-88. Both of these are exclusive to this box, which almost everything is going to be exclusive to these boxes, like I said. The pops you might be able to find and pop in a box, which in just a second I'll tell you what that is, but anyway, Boba Fett and IG-88 are going to be awesome additions to my Star Wars pops. So I highly recommend the Star Wars Smugglers box if you're into the mystery boxes and if you're into Star Wars. It's always Star Wars all the time. You can't help but like what's in it. Um, now, if you like the pops, the other thing I'm going to suggest right now is going to pop in the box. I will put the link and all into the summary that's below your video. Um, if you use that link, you can get 20% off on your first purchase. Pop in the box gives you these monthly. Um, these are just cool. I collect them. When my son's old enough to not pull heads off of bobbleheads, they're all going to go to him, so I mean, two in one right there. Great thing about Pop in the Box 
is you can go through and select your pops that you already have in a collection. You make your collection. That will guarantee they do not send you duplicates. Then you have every pop, vinyl pop, Funko pop in existence basically that they could send you. If something was San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but there were extras, or they make a second run of them for some reason or something, they'll send those to you. Um, the Entertainment Earth exclusives, the Smuggler's Box exclusives, the Marvel Collector Core exclusives, they can all wind up in this mystery box. Now you can buy, if you see ones you like, you can buy them automatically right off the bat. Um, in Pop in the Box, you can pre-order new Funkos that are coming out. They will send you emails and say, hey, this is coming out soon. My wife pre-ordered the um, Dragon Elliot from Keith's Dragon. She just got that in the mail. Things awesome. But you can pre-order them. Um, and then as soon as they're ready, they'll put them in the box and ship them to you. You can also do a mystery box pop a month. Now the cool thing about this is you have all these Funko Pops that they could possibly choose from to send you, but they will only send you ones you like if you do one easy step. You go through all of the Funkos, which there's probably about five, six hundred of them, so it, it can take a while, but they'll give you a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you thumbs down something, they will not send it to you. If you thumbs up it, they will. So your mystery box with the Funko Pop, Pop in the Box, you can get one for around 10 bucks. It comes out to like 13 with shipping and handling. That's about what you'll find them for in the store. You can also do up to, I believe it's three at a time per month. That instead of doing your like multiple months and all, they give you like... Do you want to do one, two, or three per month? Um, now, the other really cool thing is if there's like a 5% chance or something of getting one of the big deluxe Funko Pops as your mystery pop in the month, if you get that, they don't charge you any extra. You're still going to get charged for this, even though you're going to get like the size of that so it's a really cool service and if you actually buy from our link it'll help us and it'll help you guys because you'll get 20% off your first purchase we will get a point towards a free Funko every four purchases gets us a free Funko which like I said they're going to my three-year-old once he's old enough to not pull heads off of these things so it's a win-win all around. So hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I still have two unboxings to do from the Funko Pop. And one to do from Marvel Collector's Core that will hopefully be up in the next few days. So stick around. We'll also be talking about Pokemon Go. And some new things I've got going on with All Things Geek. And our store and what we're trying to do on a game called Smite. So stick around and we'll see you later.